people graffiti shit. But um, in Plymouth, Massachusetts, Plymouth Rock was vandalized and covered in graffiti, and that says, why would somebody do this? In Plymouth, Massachusetts, why, why, why would someone do this? Says um, Gail Manning, as she um, had asked as she looked down at the vandali vandalized Plymouth Rock in, um, on Monday morning. She was one of the many who traveled to the Plymouth waterfront to express disgust over the overnight damage to the landmark and other waterfront monuments by vandals wielding Kansas spray paint. Police Chief Michael Botiri said Plymouth Rock, the Pilgrim Maiden statue, a memorial granite bench, and at least four of the scallop roll statues scattered about the, about the waterfront by the Plymouth Area Chamber of, Com of Commerce were tagged with paint. Similar graffiti included an obscene message aimed at um, police um, was found more than a mile away at the base of the state-owned National Monument to the Forefathers. Much of the Plymouth Rock graffiti was in indecipherable and it was smeared with paint, but Terry said, but several of the landmarks were tagged at num with the numbers and letters 508 motherfucker. That's what MOF means, motherfucker. Um... Police detectives reviewed surveillance video from the area in hopes of identifying the um, the um, band vandalism people. But Terry said police searched along the rocky waterfront for discarded paint containers. Um, but Terry said that there um, that there does not appear to be any political connection to this graffiti. But some who gathered at the at um, but some who gathered at Plym um, Plymouth Rock on Monday morning wondered. Um, Man Man Manning noted that the graffiti occurred on Squatters Day in 2020, which is the 400th anniversary um, um, of the Pilgrims landing at Plymouth Rock. Maintenance crews from the town and the state set to work Monday cleaning up the graffiti with power washers and a solvent used to clean previous vandalism. Plymouth Rock has been targeted occasionally over the years, sometimes by people with political with the political agenda. Boteri acknowledged that this vandalism was beyond the scope of past tagging incidents. Seeing this type of disrespect for the historic reminders of the May, May, uh, Mayflower is, story is bad enough and unsettling. Lee Filson, the executive director of local tourism agency for C. Plymouth, said in a statement, The outpouring of concern and anger over the incident has been a positive ending to a thoughtless gesture. As Plymouth com com commemorates the 400th anniversary of the landing of the Mayflower this year, we have already begun welcoming international and domestic visitors. The waterfront and the historic district are safe and well lit and will continue to welcome all who will visit.